everyone. We hope you've had a great arts interim week, and we're so excited to welcome you back to school in real life over the next couple of weeks. We're incredibly proud of how resilient you've been over these last 14 weeks of virtual learning, and now we're going to ask for just a little bit more resilience as we share the new expectations for keeping everyone safe on campus. So we had a lot of fun making this video for you, but that doesn't mean that we're not serious about the rules. We're really looking forward to seeing everybody's faces soon. Well, actually the top halves of everyone's faces soon. And thank you so much for doing your part in keeping Hong Kong and our THS community safe and sound. Before you leave your house, you will need to take your temperature to make sure it is under 37.5 degrees Celsius. Please stay home if you have a fever. When you get to school or get on the school bus, someone will take your temperature then too. Before getting on the school bus or entering any THS campus, please make sure to wear your mask. Keep it on because this protects you and it protects others around you. Make sure your mask covers your nose and fits around your chin. Remember to speak a little louder so other people can hear you. If you lose your mask at school, we'll have an extra one for you. Just ask. We have hand sanitizers all around the campus and in the classrooms to keep your hands clean. Please make sure to sanitize your hand as soon as you arrive. Please remember, in order to keep everyone safe, we just can't have you enter the school or get on the bus if you haven't got your mask on the right way. Please put your mask on the right way. Please, let's do our best to keep a safe distance from each other. This means staying one meter apart. It's about two arm lengths. When you're lining up or you're on the stairs, try to keep two or three steps between you and the person ahead of you. And if somebody comes too close, you know what you say, right? You say, forget about it. When sitting at tables, we must remember to keep a good physical distance. If you can touch your seatmates with your elbow while you're sitting in your chair, then you're sitting too close. Spread out to other tables in the classroom. Pay attention to the maximum number of chairs allowed per table. We can't have everyone sitting on the carpet, but you may move your chair to face your teacher as long as you have a safe distance between you and the person near you. And remember, it's a reminder to be physically distant, not socially distant. We fully encourage discussion and socialising. Just be safe about it. The maximum number of people in the bathroom. If there are more than two stalls, it's four. If you're the fifth one, wait your turn outside until someone leaves. It's incredibly important to wash your hands well and often. Lather up and wash all parts of your hands, including the tops of your hands, between your fingers, your wrists, and under your fingernails for 20 seconds. If you sing happy birthday twice while washing your hands, then you know that you'll have washed for 20 seconds. If someone has forgotten, be helpful and remind them. Before using a laptop, iPad or other forms of technology, even pencils, Wipe it down with disinfectant and use hand sanitizer to clean your hands. Remind friends who might be sharing with you that they must sanitize their hands first. Some of us get a little excited by the hand sanitizer, so be careful that it doesn't splash everywhere. If you have a smartphone, it is a good idea to regularly clean and disinfect it each day. Remember, before you share with your friends, use that hand sanitizer. Finally, please remember that you should stay at home if you have any symptoms, which could include a fever, dry or chesty cough, sore throat, or if you're feeling more tired than usual. Some other less common but important symptoms also include if your body feels achy, if you have diarrhea, a headache, or even some loss of taste or smell. These symptoms do not mean that you definitely have the coronavirus. However, it is still important to be safe by staying home. 
Some older people, people with medical conditions or with low immune systems are at a higher risk of catching any illness. So by staying at home, you are helping yourself to get better and helping the community around you too. Well, THS, we're looking forward to seeing you all soon and having a wonderful rest of the year. Thanks for doing your part as we work to keep our community safe and connected.